Lynn Middle School and any other school that wants to watch this. I'm Stern, Club Director of the Boys and Girls Club, and today we're going to make our own straw for our art project, and then we're going to use this plain paper for this and tape. So first, you take a regular sheet of paper. Nothing special, just a regular sheet of paper. And you just kind of slowly make it a little kind of a straw. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just roll it into a straw. Okay, now that's a big straw. So we're going to go ahead and make it smaller as we can with our pinky. Just kind of roll it smaller as you can, okay? You can also just try to get in there as small as you can, okay? So that, we made our straw. It's pretty big, but it'll still work. All right, this next step is tape. You need to get tape. So I have some tape, and I'm going to pull some tape off. And you take some tape, and you just tape it, tape it closed. So it stays a straw. Okay. Now this isn't the fanciest job, but it'll work. So first off, kind of like if you're graduating, you have your, your straw. That's part one. Part two is all you need is plain paper, just plain sheets of paper and probably two. And uh, now we're gonna do the next step. So I'll be right back. All right, so the next step is to go ahead and get a little container and to find an old marker. This one's pretty dried up, so you find an old marker that is kind of dead or not used anymore. So you can use it for ink because it's dry on this end. So you just put it right in a container like so, you find some water. So we're going to find some water. I found some water. And I'm going to go ahead and pour it in there with the marker. Okay, that should be plenty. So now we're going to let the ink come out of the old pen or the old marker. And that should probably happen, I don't know, in about five minutes or so. Now, if you want to kind of stir it up, you can to get the ink start to come out a little bit faster. But being an old, <laughs> old marker, it sometimes takes some time. But you don't want to be making a mess, so you always make sure you do this on something throwaway like paper. And not a really expensive table or anything like that. Okay? So we're about to do our ink project. We have our straw. We have some paper. And we're making our own ink, so we can make our own ink drops. Okay, so you go ahead and find, like I said, an old marker that's kind of dead already. And then you're going to go ahead and just let that water seep in a good mm, five minutes or so, uh, maybe four. So right now I'm just going to leave this alone, and we'll be right back, okay? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and try our ink project. We're going to go ahead and take our ink and we're going to get our straw ready and we're going to get ready to blow in the straw to move the ink. Here we go. I'm going to take just a little bit of this water, put a little dot, dot. Okay, so we made a little abstract of art with light blue ink. So now what we need to do is let that dry and see if we like the color. And then once it dries, if we like it, then we can do some different colors if you have some different markers or some actual ink. You can actually also make ink out of um, blueberries or blackberries. You can make ink out of um, different kind of dyes, food coloring, but this is our little project we've made. We made our own ink, albeit it's light and blue, <laughs> and we made a little abstract art. Okay, so let's see what you can make at home and see if you can get different kinds of paper to try and try different colors and see what interesting art you can make. 
Thanks again, and I hope you had fun with this little project. I hope you do some really neat art. And have a good one.